Welcome to the CyberScience demo. Today we'll be showing you how hyperscience could leverage large language models such as ChatGPT to assist with validations of complex rules for a classical Know Your Customer process. Please also refer to our KYC video to see how hyperscience is able to process such complicated validations without large language models. Know Your Customer processes oftentimes involve costly manual labor or are subject to error-prone and slow processes. Due to high workloads and long processing times, this imposes risks on your customer and workforce satisfaction, ultimately not only leading to higher costs and lost revenue or churn, but also risking your competitive advantage. As an AI-powered automation company, Hyperscience helps enterprises to deploy AI in their business processes. In addition to our market-leading document processing, Hyperscience customers can integrate generative AI solutions like ChatGPT within their document processes using our low-code process development environment called Flow Studio. For example, customers can use accurately extracted data within their KYC processes to feed validations or even provide suggestions for a customer representative within the approval process. To compensate for accuracy risks from using GPT, we guarantee accuracy by using human supervision to ensure enterprises can trust their AI-driven processes. As a platform, Hyperscience can easily integrate external solutions to complete or extend the end-to-end -end process while providing our customers and partners with the necessary enterprise stack to optimize AI. And while Hyperscience would be fully capable of handling the validations of a complex KYC submission without large language models, the advantage of such models is that we can describe rules semantically the way humans understand them without the need for code, and we can replace whole sets of rules in a matter of seconds to account for changes in your processes, saving you time and money. I will show you in a minute how that works within Hyperscience. Now before I jump over to the demo, I just want to give you one disclaimer. ChatGPT is a public API and you are best advised not to send any PII or sensitive information. Ways to deal with this would be a previous redaction of data that you're sending or the use of open source large language models in an on-premise deployment to prevent the leaking of any sensitive data. Let's jump over to the demo. First of all, let's take a quick look at our workflow. And the first thing I want to highlight here is the ability to upload different files like CSV files. In this case, we're uploading a couple of different database files like our occupation codes, risk profiles, and our rules engine that will be used by ChatGPT for this KYC demo. And now the cool thing is that we can change the files in just a handful of seconds by importing a new file version here to account for changes in your process or for a different process altogether. Now let's take a quick look at how the rules look like. We can see some standard rules for a KYC process, such as an ID validation, an address validation, making sure that we have the same data across different documents. Then we have stuff like validating if we have an active customer or the risk profiles are checked and so on. As an example, just keep an eye out for the address validation, which will come up later in our demo. When a submission is initialized, the first thing that happens is that our database files like our occupation codes and our risk profiles, as well as our rules engine, get locked into the submission object. And we're then going through our classical intelligent document processing, looping humans in when required. And after that, we're preparing a prompt for ChatGPT that is then sent to validate the rules engine. And in the second prompt, we're asking ChatGPT to write an appropriate email for all our validations. Both the evaluation and our email are then presented to a data key in our custom supervision interface, where the data key can then make a decision for each case to send out an email and complete the submission. As a customer, we can make a submission of our KYC documents, for example, via email, where it is picked up by a folder listener and our intelligent document processing with human AI collaboration kicks off. And now that all the data from all documents is accurately extracted with Hyperscience and we send the request to the OpenAI API, we are presented with the whole submission in a fully customizable UI, our custom supervision interface, where we can see our submission is structured by a case that has different documents like the KYC form, the bank statement, a passport, and a couple of payslips. And we can also see here on the right hand side the response from ChatGPT. You will notice it validated all our rules in the correct outcomes as defined in our rules engine CSV with all the data it was provided from all these documents as well as from the databases. As you can see here, it structured the validations by failed validations and others. And you can see here the address validation comes up that has failed because the address in the KYC form does not match the address in the bank statement. 
And as a data keyer, we could now look into this particular documents to see if that's actually the case. We can see the address here, which is some address in Mumbai in the KYC form. While on the bank statement, we see some PO box address here. It looks like all the other validations passed, like the document completeness check, data completeness check, ID validation, bank statement validation, and so on. And we're provided with the reasoning here again for the address validation. And you'll notice in the bottom part of this, we see the email response to our applicant that ChatGPT prepared for us. And we see here that it's telling the customer what failed in the application, like the address validation. And it's also informing the customer on what might have gone wrong, that there might have been a wrong entry. And you can also see a recommendation from ChatGPT on what to do. It's asking the customer to update the documents and sending them in again. Now, as a data keyer, we're presented here with all the validations and the email answer. And we can now go in and make a decision on sending out the email or not. And we can also accept or reject the submission. But before I show you the email bit, I want to just quickly show you how easily we can change the rules engine. So we just go back into a flow and update the file here, import a new one, take our second rule set, import, save and deploy, and that's all we have to do. And now let's take a quick look at the second rule set. As you can see, it's a much smaller set. While some of the rule titles are the same, we actually do have different rules for them. For example, the document completeness check. This time, the document check requires us to have three invoices or three utility bills, as well as a driving license that were all previously not required, and so on. And now back to taking the role of a data keyer. After our second submission with our second rule set is finished, again, we're presented with the whole submission in our custom supervision interface. And again, we have the ChatGPT validations up here, where we can see that document check has failed, data completeness check has failed, the ID validation has passed, address validation has passed, and so on. In the bottom half, we're presented with the email where we're presenting to the customer an overall judgment of the KYC submission, as well as requirements for the missing documents and a little bit of explanation. Now, as a data keyer, we can go back to our decision tab in the top where we can then make a selection to send the email as well as to reject the submission. And then as a customer, shortly we will receive an email and the email has just come in. By sending out the email, the customer is now informed about errors in their KYC application, as well as advice on how to treat them. And all of this was done in a timely manner, thanks to the accurate and quick data extraction powered by our human AI collaboration. And I hope with this brief simulation, I was able to demonstrate to you that with HyperScience, we were not only able to improve your customer and your employee satisfaction, but also reducing costs and risks and ultimately driving your revenue. For more information and questions, please reach out to our chatbot or your local HyperScience representative. Thank you for watching.